So, there were two things that were clear from birth. First, I was super cute. I mean, come on, look at that face. Second, I had cystic fibrosis. When I was little, it wasn't such a big deal. My friends and I could still do pretty much all the same stuff. Princess Kitty Whiskers, will you hand me a cookie? Meow, meow. But as I've gotten older, my CF has been making things a little more difficult. A lot of the time, I have to miss hanging out with my friends so I can get treatments. And when we do hang out, well, it's just not the same. <coughs> this is <coughs> fun. <coughs> Come on, Ella, keep up. <coughs> anyway, all of this has got me thinking, what else is going to happen to me as I get older? Why do I have to get all those treatments anyway? They don't cure me. You've been with me since the beginning, President Cuddles. What do you think? I love you. That's nice, President Cuddles. But I still have so many. Deep in outer space, at the headquarters for the Medi Kids. Questions? Whoa, the Medi Kids! Well, if you've got questions, we've got the answers. Hey, Ella, we're going to help you understand your CF. Wow, thanks, guys. President Cuddles hasn't been much help on that front. CF mostly affects your lungs and your pancreas. So, let's begin our quest for knowledge in the lungs of Mediland. Mediland! Perfect! I've been meaning to go there. Psst! Gastro, what is Mediland? Oh, Mediland is a planet that works and looks just like the human body. If you like planets and you like bodies, you'll love Mediland. In the lungs. Welcome to the lungs. They are made of millions of different tiny cells. These cells on the lining of the lungs are covered in tiny hairs called cilia. Ew! And some of them make a slimy liquid called mucus. Probably should have mentioned that first. When you breathe in, air is sucked into your mouth or nose, through your airways, and down into your lungs. What's happening? What are those pretty bubble things? Mediland is taking a deep breath of air, which contains bubbles of oxygen. Oxygen is passed from the lungs into the blood, where it travels around the body to all the different cells. We've got incoming! Now what? Well, sometimes oxygen isn't the only thing you breathe in. Sometimes you also breathe in dirt and germs, which can damage the lungs and cause infections. Move! Okay, who's ready to party? And of course, when I say party, I mean cause an infection. Ooh, I love a good infection. Oh no! The lungs are filled with dirt and germs! What are we going to do? Don't worry, Ella. Your lungs have it covered. The lungs protect themselves by producing mucus that traps the dirt and germs. Um, did you order some mucus? I thought you did. And then the cilia sweep it out of the lungs to be coughed up. Ha! Awesome! Later, germs! Oh, but we just got here! This is how things normally happen. Normally? Wait, what do you mean? Uh-oh, not again. Look out! With CF, however, things are different. Different? Different how? Different as in, we need to get out of here soon. You ready to infect this place? I was born ready. Like, I basically have no other purpose in existence. <sighs> this is the life. What is happening? Why are those germs happy? I do not want happy germs. Uh, see, in CF, the mucus is so thick and sticky that the cilia can't push germs and dirt out of the lungs. This means that the germs are trapped in the lungs. That's why people with CF are more likely to get infections. Now what? Damage to the lungs can also make you cough a lot. And that thick, sticky mucus isn't exactly easy to cough up. The damaged lungs make it difficult to breathe, too. Ooh, fun. It's like a rainbow. But CF doesn't just affect the lungs. In the pancreas. CF also affects cells in your pancreas. Wait, my what, Creus? Your pancreas. It's an organ that sits just underneath your stomach on the left-hand side of your abdomen. It's where these awesome guys known as enzymes are made. Oh, stop. You'll make me blush. All I do is help to break down your food so it can be used for energy. 
You are being far too modest. The body uses that energy to do incredibly important things, like growing, fighting infections, and exercising. All aboard! Next up, the small intestine. Just like the lungs, the pancreas makes mucus too. Mucus helps to push the enzymes out of the pancreas and into the small intestine. Here they meet your food. The pancreas also makes insulin. Insulin is a hormone that regulates the amount of glucose, a sugar that is a source of energy, in your blood. Is there anything this wonderful organ can't do? Ugh, and I take it the sudden explosion of mucus is another gift from CF? Unfortunately, yes. Just like in the lungs, with CF, the mucus is thick and sticky here too. So enzymes get stuck in the pancreas. Something tells me it's gonna take a little longer than usual to get to work. So close! This means you can't digest food properly, which means your body doesn't get the energy and nutrients it needs to grow. Because of this, kids with CF are sometimes shorter than their friends. Also, because food isn't digested properly, you might get diarrhea. Poor enzymes. Poor... Wait a minute. Where did all the insulin disappear to? Sometimes with CF, the pancreas stops making insulin. This is called CF-related diabetes, which means your body has trouble turning glucose into energy. Speaking of disappearing, this place is getting a little too covered in mucus for my liking. Let's head back to HQ. Back at MKHQ. Okay, so I know a lot about CF, but one thing I don't know is why I got it in the first place. It all comes down to genes, which are the instructions that tell your cells what to do. You get one set of genes from your mom and one from your dad, which is why you look a little bit like each of them. Yeah, what's also cool about genes is they decide things like the color of your eyes and hair, and even how tall you are. Why are we telling you all of this? Because CF is a genetic condition. See, there's a mistake in the gene that makes the protein that helps to make mucus. This protein is called Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator, or CFTR for short. The long version is a bit of a mouthful. I'll stick to CFTR. This change in the gene is called a mutation. The mutation means that the gene makes the wrong shape of CFTR, so it can't work properly, or doesn't even make CFTR at all. If you have CF, that means both copies of your CF gene have the mutation. For this to happen, both your mom and dad need to have at least one copy of the CF gene that has the mistake. This doesn't mean they have CF. People with only one faulty copy are called carriers. Right. One thing I know is that people are either born with CF or they're not. You can't catch it or pass it on to anyone else like a cold. That's right. Most people are tested for CF when they are babies by getting a blood test to look for a CFTR mutation. But there are over 2,000 different mutations, and we can't check them all. Which is why some people don't find out until they're older. I found out when I was a baby. Babies might also get a sweat test, where a patch is placed on the skin that measures the salt in their sweat. High salt levels are a sign of CF. There may not be a cure for CF yet, but there are a lot of treatments that can make living with it easier. These treatments start as soon as the doctors know you have CF. So cool! Let's do this! A quick teleport later, and we're back in the lungs. One of the most important treatments for CF is airway clearance. It has to be done every day and may take up a lot of time, but it really helps your lungs. A physiotherapist will show you exercises to help clear the mucus from your lungs. But there are also some cool gadgets like a special oscillation vest that help get the mucus out. We also have bronchodilators to relax your airways, making the tubes wider so it's easier to breathe. And I know this one because I take it every day. This is a mucolytic, and it makes the mucus more watery so it's easier to cough up. Next up, we have antibiotics that help fight infections. Antibiotics can be taken as tablets, syrups, inhalers, or sometimes through an IV drip. IV stands for intravenous, which means the antibiotics go straight into your veins. Some kids with CF need IV antibiotics a lot, so they have a special port inserted into their veins. Because your body produces more sticky mucus all the time, it's important to do your treatments every day to keep healthy. You will also need vaccines, like the flu shot, which help protect you against some infections. Right! I also know that CF makes my body work extra hard. 
which means I need extra energy from food. My doctor said to eat foods that are high in fat because they contain more energy. Some kids with CF need to take some extra medicines too to replace the enzymes that get stuck in the pancreas. You'll take these with every meal. Yeah, and since I have CF-related diabetes, I take insulin injections. Woohoo! The treatment worked! Things are looking much less mucus sticky gross. Medicine is great, but so is keeping active and doing regular exercise. Physical activity helps to keep your bones and muscles strong and also helps to clear your lungs of mucus. Exercise is super important if you have CF. Not only do we have these treatments, but doctors and scientists are working hard to make new ones too. CFTR modulator therapies, for example, which help CFTRs to work properly again. Your doctor will let you know if they are right for you. My doctor also said people with CF whose lungs get super sick might need a lung transplant. He also said that transplants aren't for everyone, and he'd let me know if I needed one. That's right, Ella. Our work here is complete. Let's return to HQ. Back at MKHQ. And now you know all about CF. Yay! Yeah, yay. I sense you are still troubled. What's wrong, Ella? I've had CF my whole life. Sometimes I'm fine, and other times I get sad. There are also times when I get mad that I can't do all the things my friends do. But the worst part is when I think about the future. I don't know what's going to happen to my CF or me, and that's when I get scared. Look, like you said, living with CF is tough, and everything you're feeling, well, that's normal. But you aren't alone, and whenever you're feeling those things, talk to someone you trust, like your doctor or a family member. As for the future, at the moment, there is no cure for CF, but doctors and scientists are working very hard to find one. You should also know that people with CF are living longer and more active lives today than ever before. They are going to college, dating, getting married, and even having kids. Really? Really. I mean, I'm 10, so I'm not really thinking about having kids just yet, but I like knowing that my dream of being a veterinarian who is an astronaut on the weekend is still possible. Another cool thing about getting older is that with time you will learn to manage your own treatment, which means you get to be more independent. Learning all about how your treatment works will make it easier for you to feel in control and to live the life you want to live. You sought answers and found them. This quest is now complete. Which means it's time for us to send you back. Thanks, Medikids. I feel a lot better knowing what's going on with my CF. A few days later, so yeah, things won't be as easy as they were when I was little. And because of my CF, there will be things I can't do. Hey guys, I'd love to go to the movies with you, but I've got to do my treatment. Next time though, the stuff I can't do is teeny tiny compared to all the awesome stuff I can do. As for the future, well, CF won't stop me reaching for the stars. Thanks for helping Scruffy Fluffy X72, Dr. Ella. Hey, I'm a veterinary astronaut. It's just what I do.